Binge watch and learn on TRS Clips. According to you, what's the craziest thing about our solar system? The craziest uh, thing, the the weirdest things about yeah, weirdest. the solar. Yeah, right. So there are there are like for example, Uranus uh, is a planet which is like having a pole tilt, uh, which is directly almost perpendicular to the direction of sun. So it's something like a ro- like a ball rolling. <laughs> uh because it's, it's the other planets are like 23 24 degree tilt but this is 90 degree tilt etc that's mm. what and uh, another crazy thing is the, about the venus uh which is having an op- or direction opposite rotation so that the sun ri- the typical proverbial sun rising in the west and uh, setting in the east will happen uh, mm. in that uh, in that kind of planets and then the craziest thing about uh yeah i mean yeah of course the liquid nitrogen uh, ocean uh, like that is the that is discovered in titan for example mm-hmm. and then water even water ice ocean in europa so now uh, one of the craziest thing i heard is that europa have more water than earth yeah. yeah which might mean it might have something like sharks or whales <laughs> or fish for all you know uh, yeah i mean but at least microbials for sure and mm. uh, kind of a new ke- different kind of a cryochemistry yeah. l- l- like that you know we've had abhijit chavda sir on the show a lot he's an astrophysicist okay and once we did a special on the history mm. of our solar system mm-hmm. in terms of from when it began to now okay and if you actually study the history of human life we evolved from fish fish mm. evolved from unicellular organisms yeah but the question is what did the unicellular organisms evolve from and that's actually where science stops that's where scientific understanding stops mm-hmm. we don't know how the first amoeba or the first cell actually began on mm-hmm. earth and one of the theories is that it was brought from a comet from another system yeah that's that's a very important theory because uh, current model about uh, now the uh, in the planet earth in the earlier period like uh, um, somewhere around f- f- after its uh, formation few billion years uh, we were thinking that uh, the ocean became like a poodle of um, this a um, uh, lot of uh, hydrocarbons and then il- lightning and all the things started creating uh, biological life forms but there are a lot of loopholes in that theory where certain because people have simulated that conditions and the hydrocarbons were not forming properly you mean in a lab they tried simulating the same yeah, the conditions. ancient uh, uh, earth conditions they have mm. simulated and now there is a lot of weightage for this theory of uh, extraterrestrial origin of uh, hydrocarbons which create the life human life form so uh, now as the exactly like you mentioned the comets are considered as the bringers of life because the comets may be forming in anywhere in the uh, galaxy and the, there are certain stars which have died in a previous generation star which have died before the the sun they have thrown a lot of hydrocarbons already into the space some of them will be collected by the comets and the comet go up, comet have a bigger orbits longer elliptical orbits so it can go and get connected to another star so in that star uh, when it that such, such comets hit a planet which is habitable this seeds of life come from that comet on to the uh, planet and then the life begins so basically our true ancestors are possibly from another solar system Correct. or at least another planet in Which our is solar possible. system uh, like uh, that is what uh, that is what i also think that the reality is much more uh, strange than fiction mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. like we were all uh, like we, we were talking about aliens and all. we ourselves our own uh, like uh, the built up the hydrocarbons etc may be extraterrestrial even otherwise see any nitrogen or any oxygen any kind of elements which are uh, like uh, other, the high, other than hydrogen and uh, helium they are all created by another star the, when the universe created only hydrogen was there and the hydrogen slowly became uh, helium and the, d- during the time of big bang and other, anything else you are seeing including your carbon your oxygen your nitrogen everything has been cooked in another star mm. the previous generation star mm. so even carl sagan has famously mentioned your body is extraterrestrial your whatever uh, like uh, chemicals made that make up your body is um, cooked in a star yeah so trs clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our home page reading through all the playlists happens through curiosity